Welcome back to the channel. I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but my good friend Lundy came up and told me that the ban list was out, so I was planning on having a lazy day. I'm still in my pajamas, but when the ban list drops, drops, you have to talk <laughs> about it. And was it an amazing ban list? Is it we got Block Dragon banned, Jet Synchron banned, Mega Phantom Beast Olan banned. So there's no more degenerate synchro decks. Well, there'll probably be one that works, but who knows? But unbelievable. But what was good to see coming back was Harvey's Feather Duster. Like, it's it's good, like. It's a good card. It's a very good card. And Rusty Bardish as well. But that's probably for the new set coming out with the PK monsters on it. So, I mean, you could see that one coming. But what I don't understand... What I find really strange is they put Call by the Grave to one. I don't understand why, what the logic is, because now there's no counter to hand traps, which is quite strange. Yeah. Apart from Gamma. Apart from Gamma. <laughs> I suppose Gamma does, but. And. Double Hours Magician for Pendulums, which. I mean, it's about time they got a card back, really. Like, I'm quite excited to build Pendulum Magicians, but the next part, what I'm excited about. Better. It's what got semi limited. We got Seer and Graf back. Woohoo! So, BA could be a thing. PK Fire, anyone? Might be good. And of course, Buster Dragon came back, ABC. So, they put it to one and they put Toad to one for some reason. I don't know why. They must have thought it was going to take over the mana. But even with them at three, they wouldn't take over the mana. So, it's nice to see them back and at two so that the decks are playable. Because ABC is a fun deck to play. And Toad is also two. And Toad's a two as well, so Toad's pretty good. And of course, Tour Guide came back to three. Um, Pantheism of the Monarchs and Widow Anchor came back to three, which is quite good because it's like your searchable impermanence, like, so you've got like six negates. Effect feelers, nine, so. Got quite a lot of effect negation in that deck, so it'll, it'll be interesting to see what deck could build, and it'll be interesting to see what Burn the Best profiles are out there. We're obviously going to take a crack at a Burn the Best profile ourselves, and we'll be getting them up as soon as we get all the cards together. But the main reason that we came here was to open some Dragon of Legends, because I was waiting to open it. I was going to wait till tomorrow, but ban list out, so I might as well do a video about the ban list, saying how amazing it is, and then do your opening today as well, even though it's really late. So, I've got them in. The only bad thing about the European ones is... If you knock it about, you'll see the promo card. Is that catch it? So, it's a bit unfortunate. Of course, you can see the dice as well, so there's no mystery to list. So you can sort of pick your dice and your promo. But the promo cards aren't worth that much. The most expensive card in the set is probably the Toon Kingdom, which is short printed. So there's no way to check for that, like, but the chances of opening it are pretty slim. So because Lundy's up, I'm going to open one, he's going to open one, and we'll just see what we'll pull. I haven't even looked at the set list. I've, I just haven't had time. So I'm going to be surprised to see what's actually in here. So here we go. Here's the... Here's what you get inside the case, you get a dice and you get your two packets and then there's your promo card poking out there as you can see. So the product for the the EU on the last series like this was good but I have to admit this one's a bit poor with the, the whole being able to see the promo. They should have probably secured it a bit better but I mean, it could, you could be on eBay, you could buy maybe two, and they're going to send you the, the terrible promos. Like, you obviously hope that won't happen, but it could happen. So there's the promo card, as we've seen anyway. So I have no idea what it does, but sure. So we'll set it there. Now move on to the pack. Here is the pack. We have the Dark Magician Girl and a funky old dragon there. So we have 18 cards in the pack. Um, what does the pack include? It's just I haven't looked at anything about it at all. It doesn't say, uh, one standard ultra, two colourful ultras. Nice. Uh, so just like this. I suppose we don't. 
Oh, flip that's a good reprint. Come again. Come again, the Mega Man. That is good for dinosaurs, I believe. I think it was played in Link Dragon. I'll set it here. I'll, I'll try and set it somewhere. The lighting's very poor today. I don't understand why, but I probably just haven't set it up properly because we're in such a rush to get the video up. So we've got all oh, more tunes. Toon Ancient Gear Golem. Nice. We've got Guarded Treasure. We've got Red Eyes Burn. So this is just basically like the previous thing. You're getting the same sort of cards. Yeah, Land Heart Locomotive. Ooh, Fire Hunt. We have Fire Hunt. Will we put Ice Hunt? We have Crystal Sword Eidos. Seven cards. Oh, here we go. Here oh. is the colored Tomasis, the Knight of Destiny. Oh, that's nice. With the green text. So you get two colored cards, I believe. So we'll see what the next one is. We have the Fang of Critias. And we have Crew Bandit as an Ultra. I think this has already been an Ultra, so a bit of a weird Ultra slot, like, but sure. And then we'll just go through the last ones, a couple of cards. I'll just set these down and I'll move the ultras up here. I think maybe the lighting is because we're going wide. I've, I've put it on so, it's, so you get like a wider view of the field, but it seems to be not picking up as much light. But I'll know in editing anyway. I can always brighten it up anyway. Put the other contrast up. So let's move on to the second packet. We have Lord of Re the Red. Nice. We have Lilybot. We have Tyrant Ring Wing. We have Double Miracle Armband. We have Construction Train Signal Red. We have Number C73. We have Roulette Spider. Of course, the one card that I know that is in this set is the Toon Kingdom, and I sort of want to pick up a place like that, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, a bit, I'm not feeling very lucky today, so I doubt we will pull it. I don't even know if it can be a colourful. Is it just yeah. the Ultra, or is it just a colourful one, Lundy? Do you know anything? Uh, either of them can be the same. Oh, it can be anything. And you can already. pull multiple of the same card in the market. And there we go, there's Doom Virus Dragon. I mean, it was in the, the Kaiba collection. Released not that long ago, I believe it was a secret, but sure, what can you do? We'll just fill it full of trash just to bulk out the set, why not? We have Red Nova, we have Cyber Angel Ben 10. If you've watched a couple of few videos before, I could not remember what this card was. I'm glad I can see it now, so that it reminds me, but I'll probably forget it the next time I talk about Necros, but sure. Far Cardian Pine. We have a, another Florcardian. Oh, three in a row! Jesus! And the last is a trap. So I will scoop these up and I will pass over to El Londo and he's going to open the other one. So I hope you enjoyed our sort of balanced reaction. It's sort of our first one, like, but sure. I'll leave my colourful ultras and the promo here. I can actually see around this. The phone is absolutely blocking everything. There, I think that looks nice. Does that look nice? Let me know in the comment section. Hello. So, uh, so the bonnet was pretty good for me. I was playing dinosaurs. My dinosaurs got on And they were untouched. Also pretty good that at least I can get touched. So, I invest a lot of money in that at least. I am so. quite pleased. Here is my one. I think I have the Critiest dice, I believe. I know how bad that was before my time. I that think I have the Crit, I believe. You guys can let me know here what dice we both have. And I have the Ginza promo. Which is quite nice. I like the Ginza promo. What is the Chase promo? Is there a good one? Is it, I suppose it's the competition the Harper Diddy one. Uh, the promo is probably the best co the, the promo you can get. Because there's the, there's the Harp Diddy, there's the Time Wizard, there's Jinzo, this one, and there's two really bad ones. So we have a Gate Bugger, a Tyrant Burst Dragon, Berserker Totem, Prominent Hand, Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword, 
Legend of Heart, Aegis Rock Sunrise, there's Aton. Our first ultra is Legend Knight Critis, so I believe that the dice is Critis. Uh, a Tin Kingdom! Oh yes! Well there done. we go. This is the chase card. This is the blue one, I believe. I think this is the Moonfog one. There's blue, purple, and green, I believe the... And our third ultra is another Tin Kingdom! What?! <laughs> Double, double Tin Kingdom in a pack. That's, that's insane. That is most. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll fix the account here. That is most certainly what you want to see. <laughs> I mean, you can't get more. You, you can't get much better than two Tin Kingdoms in a single pack. <laughs> Come on, try and hit. I'm not too sure if you if you if you hit three. Oh, oh, I was saying come back. Be the play, I can play. I do want to play so, the deck, so. I mean, we've seen two, so well, you, we might get three. Of course, for the viewers at home, Lundy always opens disgusting for some reason. Yes, I he, see. He has what we call the Lundy luck. I see him open the good cards. We have giant red hand. We have fair hand. We have magic hand. All the hand seems. Oh, fair <laughs> hands. Lily butt. Pair Psychroid, Black Wing Ushio the Squirrel, Roulette Spider. This car was insane in the anime for a duet against Espa, I believe. Another <laughs> Tin Kingdom! Oh my god! This is a green one. So we'll have blue, green, and gold of Tin Kingdom. Brilliant. Can't get another one? Ha! Ah. I can't see his name. Number 45. A Grumbo Lucas of the Policy of Dimension. Ah, it's such a hard name to read. Hard name to read, look. And we have Omni Dragon. That's the second best ultra after this, of course. Which is quite nice. So, I mean, you. I guess you can't get more better than uh, three three two kingdoms in in one in, in one box. So what the, <laughs> what more can I say? Like, <laughs> but yeah, uh, like subscribe the like and subscribe and comment down below what card you like most from this set and stay tuned for more pack opens, box opens, etc.